Hello and welcome back to Guess What? Another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at the ATSO Large Turret, which is this thing right here. Now, this is an entirely vanilla build using no modded blocks, but it is using a few scripts that might be familiar. So, let's take a look at this big old barrel. So, over the barrel of the gun, we have got a lot of Gatling guns. Look at them all there. We've got plenty of cameras and plenty of Gatling guns. Whatever this thing is going to point at, it's going to completely annihilate. On top, coming past the barrel, let's just get a better look at this. In fact, let's take a little look on the side. Got some good use of these slope blocks, which make it look like it's got vents on the side. Coming along here, nice lot of detail. And it has a turret on top, just in case a pesky enemy decides to zoom past before the big cannon can target it. Coming down the top of the gun, we have rotors, because this barrel can actually move. And this is the base of the gun. Now, one thing you might notice, if I was to come down here, is it's not attached to the ground, because there is another rotor hidden in there, which allows the turret to do a full 360 all the way around. As for the actual base of the whole turret, it's got a small interior, which we're going to go in, in just a second, and we've got these lovely little slope blocks to keep the turret balanced. So I'm just going to come down to here and we have a lovely door to go inside. Opening up the door, of course we've got two doors because there is oxygen here so you need to have an airlock. And this is the inside. We've got an air vent right above the chair to make sure you're getting blasted with cold air. We then have some display screens which is, I don't actually know what this is telling me. Then we've got the radar which is going to tell you if there's a hostile enemy, an ally or a neutral enemy coming nearby. And then we have this little display there, which I presume is where your block gets damaged. I can never remember what those screens are. But yes, let's hop into here and look down. Well, I'll be damned. That's the actual time right now. But yes, bringing up the HUD, we have three options. Number one is if you want to turret to automatically aim at the enemies and shoot them. Number two is if you wish to disable that. And number three is to take remote control. So now your mouse can turn this turret all the way around. And of course, left mouse will just shoot all the Gatlings out like that. We can press number two if we want to go into the camera mode. So we can just look around and, ooh, I don't know. Let's shoot my bait over here. Just demolish it. I don't actually know what I'm doing with that base. I sort of made it with the idea of using the replay tool to do something with it, but I'd say it's never got to anywhere. I think that's enough shooting, so let me just hop out. In fact, no, I could just use the free camera, can't I? So let's bring the free camera all the way over here. Let's see the damage done. I say it did quite a lot of damage. It's not as powerful as if you were to use, say, a rocket launcher, but still, it deals a nice lot of damage. and. Because it's Gatling guns, it'll be able to hit moving targets more easily. And that is what I'm going to do right now. So what I've done here is basically brought the turret a offering for it to devour with its machine guns. I've simply just spawned in one of my vehicles and gave it to the space pirates. So hopefully it should automatically target and destroy. This ship you might recognise if you've watched any of my survival series. Yes. Now approaching the turret, I might need to very quickly switch it to auto mode. I have a feeling I have to stay up. Nope. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't think it liked it. What on earth? Where is my... Where is, where is my time? Yes, that was a little bit faster than I was expecting. Wow. So don't bring it close to the turret. In fact, I might just pull a sneaky one. So now the space pirates and I have adjoined forces through the power of a battery. And now it's time to fly past the uh, turret once more. It really wants to get me. The turret is tracking me. It really wants it. Oh, wow, that actually hit me. And there goes the machine gun fire. Oh, wow. 
Poor ship. I'm still... Wait, I can see my feet hanging out of that. Ha. Huh. Okay. Shplop. Wow, that was really solid. Deviating from the actual topic at hand, that was a really solid landing. Maybe I should fill the bottom of my ships with fighter cockpits in future. So what I've done is spawned in a large ship, and I'm going to give it to the pirates. And I'm just going to let the big turret go bananas. What the? <laughs> yes, deploy all the parachutes. Deploy them all. <laughs> Parachutes were too strong. It's still launching rockets. The main turret is down. I completely forgot that thing had guns on it. Look at the parachutes though. So there's that with its lovely parachutes all being lovely. There's the turret. I think the turret's trying to recover. Or not, the turret is now falling. It's gone. We just have the mobile base that is spinning. Perhaps it'll create a tornado. Or not. There goes the legs. Well, that didn't go as planned. So yes, this is the ATSO large turret. Very useful if you want to have it on a base to defend yourself from large ships, as long as they can't shoot back with rockets and other Gatling turrets. And parachutes, apparently. Parachutes are overpowered in this game. Please nerf. So yes, it'll be in the description below if you wish to download it and try it yourself. And I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.